South Korea had its first case of COVID at the same time, the same week as the United States. Do you know that their per capita death rate is just 1.3 percent of what ours is? Think about that statistic. I've, I've given this statistic a couple times, and, and people haven't really focused on it. The number of people in Korea who have died of COVID per capita is one, less than 1.5 one percent what our death rate is. That's thousands and thousands of people, if we had been as effective and responsible, whose lives would have been saved in this country. Just across the border in Canada, the death rate per capita is 39 percent what ours here is in the United States. We are the largest, the, the wealthiest, most powerful country on earth, and we cannot somehow get a grip on this because our government hasn't been doing its job. Last week, when our, and, and last week when Trump was asked if he'd do anything differently, you know what he said? He said, not much. Not much. Really? Not much? You can't think of anything that you might be doing differently? Like, maybe you shouldn't have gotten on TV and suggested we might inject bleach to cure COVID? That's not something you said, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that? Not much. Think about how hard the tourism industry has been hit right here in Orlando, right here in Florida. You lost one spring training season already, and he can't think of doing anything differently? Joe takes this seriously. He knows the emotional toll on grandparents when they can't see and hug their grandkids. He's not going to screw up testing. He's not going to call scientists idiots. He's not going to host super spreader events at the White House and then take it on a tour all across the country. Joe will get this pandemic under control with a plan to make testing free and widely available. He's going to get a vaccine to every American cost free. And he's going to make sure our frontline heroes never have to ask other countries for the equipment that they need to keep themselves safe. His plan will guarantee paid sick leave for workers and parents affected by the pandemic. He's going to make sure that small businesses that hold our communities together and employ millions of Americans can reopen safely. And he understands that we're not going to rebuild the economy and put people back to work until we get this pandemic under control. It's not that complicated. Donald Trump likes to claim he built this economy, but I just want to remind you that America created 1.5 million more jobs in the last three years of the Obama-Biden administration than in the first three years of the Trump-Pence administration. That's a fact. Look it up. And that was before Trump could blame the pandemic. He, in fact, inherited the longest streak of job growth in American history. But just like everything else he inherited, he screwed it up. And the economic damage that he inflicted by botching the pandemic response means he will be the first president since Herbert Hoover to actually lose jobs. First president since Herbert Hoover back in the 30s. That's a long time, people. That's almost 100 years ago. He loves to talk about black unemployment. Look how low black unemployment. Well, you know what? Unemployment was really high when I came in, and we brought that unemployment low, and it kept on going low. And he wants to take credit for it, says he's the best president for black folks since Abe Lincoln. Man.